mind lending me your wife? Excuse me? For luck. What do we got to lose? I got money, I got security, I have businesses, but you have something that I just don't have. Well, I guess there's limits to what money can buy. Not many. Some things aren't for sale. Such as? But you can't buy people. So what are you saying? You can't buy love? That's a bit of a cliche, don't you think? It's absolutely true. Well, let's test the cliche. Suppose I were to offer you one million dollars for one night with your wife. David, I think you want me to do it. Why, do you want to do it? No. I would. I'd do it for you. This money could do for us. What it could do for our future. It's just my body. It's not my mind. It's not my heart. You might enjoy it. Don't bet on it. And if you were mine, I wouldn't share you with anyone. It was sex, David. Just sex, not love. Just sex. Dang! Now, the evening would come and go, but the money could last a lifetime. Think of it. A million dollars. For one night. Adams. He has my father's eyes. Gomez, take those out of his mouth. He's an adorable little baby. Fine. Rub it in. Children, why do you hate the baby? We don't hate him. We just want to play with him. Especially his head. You'll meet someone, someone very special. Someone who won't press charges. <gasps> He a lady killer. Acquitted. Women must follow you everywhere. Store detectives. And the stork flew down from heaven and turned into a baby. Our parents had sex.
was a hell of a shot. Well, I'm currently doing an extern shift for two extra credits as a clerk to Judge Hookstrat. B.J. Hookstrat. Well, that's more impressive than being in the top five percent. Look, I don't know what kind of offers you've had from Wall Street. Top five, sir. In, in my class, not the top five percent. I'm sorry, I just. Mr. McDear. We've just offered you $68,000 a year from arguably the leading law firm in Chicago. Is there somewhere else you have to be? Yes, sir. I have a job. I'm just on lunch break.